The sensation of being fenced in begins as soon as you step into Gaza from Israel. So the first check when you've cleared Israel and arrive in Gaza is here. This is the sort of passport control for the Palestinian Authority. And this is where I'll hand over my passport and press card to get it checked by the Palestinians. Here, the Palestinian Authority coordinates with the Israelis who control who is allowed in and out. So that's me cleared with the Palestinian Authority, but that was really more of a formality. Now we go to where still the real power is, where the main checkpoint is, and that is with Hamas, a short few-minute taxi ride down the road. 17 years ago, almost 30,000 Palestinians crossed here every day to work in Israel. Now Israel only lets through the most desperate humanitarian cases. I have been waiting at Eris for five hours. My daughter is a cancer patient. There are always problems every time we need to go to the hospital because of Israel's security checks. We arrived here six hours ago. I'm still waiting. My son needs open heart surgery. So this is the Hamas. This is the Hamas customs checkpoint. This is where they still x-ray the bags. This is where, again, my passport has to be checked. So I'll take it to these guys for checking. And this is where I have to have a visa for permission to enter the Gaza Strip. Once my details have been entered into Hamas's computer system, I'm allowed in. Shukran. So that we have two separate customs checks for one territory, the Gaza Strip part of the Palestinian territory. What is supposed to happen when the reconciliation fully takes place is that all these customs checks should be done in one place. But it begs the question, there are some 40 to 50,000 people hired and working for the Hamas Authority, including the people who work here at the Customs House, for example, what is going to happen to their jobs? There's 40% unemployment here, so the future for all those Hamas employees will be one of the most significant factors in deciding if this Palestinian reconciliation can work. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Gaza.